Hi team, welcome to the New Student Futures. In this video, we're gonna take you through many of the key functions of the system so that you can get to know how to use it in your day-to-day -day activities. But before we do that, why don't we have a little bit of a chat about the importance of student, that Student Futures can provide to you as part of your employability journey. Here we can see a recent employability skill survey conducted by the QS organization. Here they've worked with industry to, to look at the key transferable skills and I guess firstly rate uh, the importance of those skills on those businesses and I guess their overall satisfaction um, of, of the mini graduates that are, that are coming through. And here, and as, you guys, as we look around this graph, we can see a couple of gaps there. So I guess from a student's perspective, the student is wanting to think about, all right, well, what, what are the many different uh, opportunities, whether on campus or off campus, that I can engage with um, beyond my core curricular studies to help build on these key skills. Because I want as a student, as I'm starting to talk with the industry as I prepare for my graduate role, to be able to demonstrate um, my proficiency in these skills and demonstrate how I'm going to impact their business in many of these different ways. And the Student Futures platform is a fantastic vehicle to enable that to, to happen. So why don't we go back and have a bit of a look through the site? The Student Future site is really easy to use. Uh, you'll notice on the top left hand side, you'll be able to get back to this, this page at any point by clicking onto Student Futures. Also, if you're involved in the engineering program, you'll also get access to the engineering Student Futures site. You'll notice through the menu, there's a number of uh, areas for sort of help and information. For instance, if you'd like to learn more about skills, for instance, we could click into communication. That will tell us a bit, bit about that particular skill and maybe some areas that you might like to go and uh, build, that, uh, build that in across your different, different programs together with frequently asked questions and so forth. So now we're gonna spend, in this video, spend a little bit of time deep diving into various sections through the site. The first step of our journey with Student Futures is to go and explore the many of the great opportunities that I could engage with. So by clicking on the Find Activities and Events button will take me through to this catalogue. So the catalogue's big to begin with, it's got all the different things that are both happening on campus and off campus. And now I might like to filter this down. So I could filter down by the school type. So for instance, I might click on Communication, and that's now going to provide me a further filtered list here again of all the things that are, that are happening. We've got some further um, filtering options down here. So for instance, I could filter by type, maybe I'm looking for an event that's happening on a specific date um, or maybe an activity that's happening over a broader period of time. I might be looking at location or commitments, of course, but we've got the keyword option there. So I've got some, uh, some phrases there. And the one that I'm looking for, there we go. It's the very first one here, Global Professional Communication Presenting Your Best Self. So by clicking into any of these, I can go and learn more about them. So obviously we can see, see where it is, when it is, what's happening, the skills are involved, how I can go and get, get engaged with this particular activity. But you'll also see a little, a little bookmark save icon here. So that's important. So as you're going through and discovering many of these great things, don't forget to push that because that's going to really help you down the line in terms of converting these great uh, opportunities that you've engaged with into experiences within the system. We'll talk a little bit about that soon. So I guess now that, now that you can head off and go and find all these great great opportunities, get engaged with them, and then we'll talk, talk soon about the, the reflection process within the system. As you've engaged with some of the great opportunities that are available to you, what you now want to do is just to create them as an experience within the system. So this is the way you can capture that uh, an understanding of what that was. So by clicking to add an experience, it's going to now ask us one of three options. So was this an event I attended maybe, or something that I'd saved, or is it going to be something that's new that we're going to be creating from, from scratch? So let's have a quick look at the first one. So event I attended. So this uh, the system tracks all the, diff the different engagements that you have. And so if you've been, if you've attended a particular event, um, it it knows that and will obviously have that here. So rather than you having to type all the information out here, you can just click on to add an experience and it's going to have everything uh, pre-filled within, within the system. So we can see obviously the title, the date this happened, um, the hours are involved, the description, also the, um, the contact information of the person that was running that specific event, all they're ready to go. So all you need, pretty much need to do is click add and claim skills. And we'll talk about that uh, very soon. Let's have a look um, uh, back at um, the saved items. So if we want to add an experience. So you'll, you'll recall that I mentioned um, previously when you're searching for things, you might be saving those along the way. And that's the way, again, that you can come and grab that informa information back here when you're creating an experience. So we saw before the global professional communication presenting your best self. So we can really click, we know that we saved that. So we can really quickly click it to add an experience. And again, all the information is there, ready to go. So it's all pre-populated. You can obviously edit a couple of things where required um, and then go and put that information, uh, get, continue on with the reflection within the system. And the final option that we saw on that uh, on that page is basically to create our own entry. And so this is this this form is now a free 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 form um, where you can come and put the information in. The first uh, item you need to select here is, I guess, a categorization 
of that uh, of that experience. Obviously, if you are in the engineering um, uh, program, you'll obviously have a couple of engineering specific ones there, together with many of the other um, other, other ones, whether it's volunteering, work experience, leadership, and so forth. So you choose one of those, enter a title, date, date details. Um, URL if applicable, hours if applicable, um, a description, I guess just a, a bit of an understanding of what that particular experience was. And then obviously some contact um, providers being the sort of the contact person for that specific experience. So if you do need to go back to that person to uh, to talk with them later, you can put their details in there. And of course, if you've got any resources that might have been applicable as part of that, um, as part of that particular experience. And so once you've done that, again, click to add and claim skills and we'll now talk through the skill claiming process as part of our next, uh, next part of the video. So that's that's in a nutshell the way that you can create experiences within the system through those three options that we just discussed there. Following our creation of experience within the system, we now come to the next part of, I guess, identifying the key skills that we built um, and reflecting on those skills. So we can very quickly click here to add a skill. So we will see the uh, Monash skills from the drop down list. So I'm going to select communications as one skill and I'm also going to do a second one and I think we can do teamwork. Okay, so we're very quickly asked here to do a really quick star rating, I guess of the level of skill gain that we felt that we that we achieved in this specific activity. So I'm just going to do, do a two star on that one and a three star on this one. And now we can head to the next screen where we actually go to do the reflections. So now in terms of actually creating the reflections, again, we're now going to be asked of those skills that we've just highlighted, which one would we like to reflect on? So let's click on to communications and we'll now start a reflection here. So firstly, we're now asked to um, choose from a skill statement. So if a skill statement effectively allows you to highlight um, a specific part of the communication skill or a specific area that you might have been working within here. So for instance, describe a situation where you were able to interact and build rapport with with other 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 team members to achieve a goal. So let's select that one. So you can select from one of the predefined um, uh, skill statements or you can write your own from this particular screen. So now we'll head straight to the writer reflection screen. And what you'll see here is the star reflection model where so this is where you have four different boxes and you those boxes are broken down into the situation so i guess describing the situation that you were in um, and as you can obviously put some information here i've got some information pre-prepared then you can now describe the task so you know what was the task that you had to do so again we've got some some nice information pre-prepared there the action that you took and then what was the result of that Okay, so this is a nice, nicely structured way to obviously have uh, your reflection uh, built within the system. Once you've completed that, you can click save, and that reflection will now be saved uh, to the system. And you can come here, and now you can sort of see that yep, in communication we've already got one reflection. You could do a second, you could do a second reflection on communication for this specific uh, experience if you'd like to. But you can also continue on to uh, now do uh, to process a reflection for the teamwork skill. So that's as easy. That's it's really simple to jump in there, um, following the creation of the experience to go through now and to obviously add the skills and reflect on those skills. The Student Futures site provides a number of ways to keep track of your progress um, through your use of the system. On the front page here, we can see a quick little dashboard that summarizes um, many of those key, key issues, how many experiences that you've, you've built, number of claims uh, and reflections and, and, and so forth. If you need to head in to sort of find those experiences that you've logged previously, they can be accessed via the My Experiences and we'll take you through to a list of, of those experiences. And of course, you can go in and edit those. You can add, add additional reflections uh, and, and so forth on that. Um, on that on that screen. Well, we also see here at my skills progress, and so this will again take you through to a dashboard to sort of give you a sense of how you're progressing through the building of those key skills. If you'd like to go on. Um, find more opportunities to build um, build some, um, uh, maybe let's just say in the creativity and innovation space, clicking here to get started will take you through into the search screen to now go and find more opportunities to engage with um, on that particular, particular skill. Uh, heading back to our main page here, we've also got a number of options in terms of being able to access um, that information that you've been adding into the system. So here's a couple of reports. So the My Reflections report will provide you an ability to download um, uh, all, all of the uh, reflections that you've added to the system uh, via PDF report format. So here we can see that's that's uh, 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 marked up nicely in a Monash um, uh, branded uh, document with all the reflection information, the experience information provided directly there for you. So of course, as you're starting to 
um, uh, be applying for uh, particular roles, great, uh, great artifact to have with you as you're going through their key selection criteria and starting to respond to, to various, uh, various opportunities. The Student Future Certificate provides you um, the ability to download, again, another report, which will, uh, for all of the verified experiences where, where the Monash team have verified that you've engaged with that specific experience, this will now uh, be provided on this particular um, printout here. And again, that can be included as part of your job applications to, to sort of highlight some of the key engagements that you've had um, with uh, through your journey. If you're a student who's also participating in the engineering program, you'll see a second site here called the Engineering Student Futures Dashboard. And so this is going to take you into a really tailored um, view of your progress through that specific program and in terms of meeting the key criteria that you have um, in order to achieve the, um, a successful completion of that, um, of that program. So the first section here, we can see some summary information about the total hours logged versus obviously the hours that um, have been logged that can count towards your CPD, the overall sort of number of skills reflections completed of the um, target 19 that you've, you've got. Then the second section here now talks to um, obviously the hours spread across the key categories and we know that those key categories have some specific thresholds that need to be met and obviously some maximums that, that can be had there as, as well. And then the last section down here now talks to each of the skills and the number of reflections that you've got um, of those um, of those skills against the targets, the targets there. And so for any of these items, you can click into these to get some more information to understand your, your particular progress, progress through, um, through that, that specific area.